All right, testing again. One, two, one, two. Is everything all right? Let's move this over to the side. Oh, it would help if I had this on, eh? Oops. Sorry, one second. Yep, there we go. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Yeah. Hi. Hope you guys are all doing very well. Let's go back a little bit. There we go. Hello, hello Cantor, hello Ikachu, and hello Bromi, hello. Thank you for joining me this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Alright, so, enough about that, let's go on to something a little bit more exciting. One moment. Nope, wrong one. Ta-da! Too loud for you guys. This is a game that I've wanted to stream for a little bit now. I've always loved. Damn it. There we go. I've loved this game for a little bit, and I thought I'd share it with people. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the game. Let's start with the new game. Dead Man Switch, Heron Brain Schemes. Version, tags, Seattle, props, portraits, being interested in the Yeah, it, I believe it started off as a uh, tabletop RPG, so like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I think it's been around not quite as long, though I could be, um, uh, if you could correct me on that, that'll be great. Um... It, like the current version, 6, no one touches that one. That edition, they, from what I've heard, they've butchered it. But 5th edition is still pretty cool. Uh, let's see. The, the Dead Man Switch. Requires game version 1.0 or higher. That's fine. In the urban sprawl of Seattle's metrop Metroplex. The search for a mysterious killer sets you on your trail that leads you from the darkest slums to the city's most powerful mega corpse. You will need to tread carefully, enlist the aid of other runners, and master powerful forces of technology and magic in order to emerge from the shadows of Seattle unscathed. Yeah, that's basically how it is. I'm going to start this on normal difficulty. I don't want it to be too easy, but at the same time, I want to make progress. Um, as for how long I'll be streaming for, I'll be streaming for a... No, I'm, I'm thinking like 5 till 7 or 5 till 8. I'm still a bit iffy on the times. Yeah, progress is good. Um... I want to keep Mondays at about this time. I uh, might stream like twice a week, but it's all up in the air at the moment. But Mondays from 5 till about 8. It's not to say that I'm going to stream for that long. It's just that if there's still something left to do, or if I'm close to something, it gives me that little bit of wiggle room to finish off. So... 
let's start with character creation. Uh, female or male? Uh, but, but, do I have anything that I can use? Let's use some dice to determine that. Nothing wrong with a bit of randomness to it all. So, one, two, three, we'll go female. Four, five, six. Well, two. Uh, what I say two was one, two, three was female. One, two, three was female, wasn't it? I think it's female. We can always change it at the end. Race. One, two, three, four. Yep. So I'm going to roll this six-sided dice again. If I roll a six, I'm going to roll it again. Five. So we are going with a troll. Street Samurai. The Street Samurai is a freelance operative who follows the code of the street's honor. They are learned in the ways of traditional samurai warrior and the practice of modern combat. Samurai sell their skills for profit and work to take out the dishonorable scum that seem to breed in the urban sprawl. So I suppose you would call this one your typical fighter. Mage. Mages specialize in casting of spells that doesn't mean they can't shoot guns. Can't shoot guns as well. Rather, magic is the center of their life. I've always wanted to play Shadowrun, but this is but this and the tabletop version too. Yeah, I strongly recommend 5th edition, because instead of your 7 dice set, all you need is a whole bunch of D6s. And if I remember correctly, uh, you add your skill number, so say it was driving of 4, you roll 4 D6s, and your agility, which I believe is what is needed. So if your agility was also 4, you rolled 8 dice, and you only counted the dice that were 5 or higher. May need to be corrected on that one too, but I believe that's the way it went. We've got mages, deckers, so deckers are our hackers. Shamans are similar to mages, but these guys do a lot of like buffs, heals, and uh, making summon spirits. Riggers are uh, basically they let you make your own mech. Your audio and your left side. Oh. Is that better? Sorry about that, I had to put the mic to one side, otherwise it was in the middle of my face. <laughs> oh. Multi-Mac. Thank you, thank you for the... F Sorry, I didn't get a m notification. But thank you very much. Ah, uh, where was I? And then you got your physical adept. Physical adept is like your uh, Dragon Ball Z character. They power themselves up to do really cool stuff. So let's see what we got from there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we're going shaman. Click this several times in the night. Alright, well, let's go with the randomizer. Click it eight times and see what we get. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go, there is our character. Continue to stats. So, this is returns, yes? Yes, this is Shadowrun Returns. There are three or four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not a it's not a bad game. There are three to the to the series. Uh no, I think that's um, Infestation that was released in 2018. There are three of them. 
there's Awaken, Infestation, and uh, Hong Kong. I've got Hong Kong and this one. I do plan to get the other one. If I want to buy returns, will I need the first? I believe a lot of them are just standalone. So this is the first, I believe, out of the three. Uh, I could be very, very much wrong on that, but I'm fairly certain that um, they are all standalone. This is number two, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this will be the first one I will be doing. Standalone in some eyes. Yeah. I believe um, all the Shadowrun games. You don't need the previous one to play the same one because they're uh, in different years. I believe this one is in 2052, I believe, from memory. Anyway, let's continue on to stats. What do I need for... Do -do -do. Where are we? Moving on to stats, I'm a shaman, so charisma is what I need. It's the main one I'll need. Continue the stats. Spending your karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running in the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skills. An attribute or skill rating can be increased by spending karma e equal to the next increments of the rating. Thus improving your body from 4 to 5 requires you to spend 5 karma points. If you have some combo points now to customize your character. Now I need charisma, so if we go up here, we can go straight to charisma. Spirit summoning points visible. Increase spells spellbook slot if not yet unlocked. Yeah, I forgot about this one. Uh, with charisma, at certain intervals, you'll get um, by me, you'll get certain um, um, an etiquette or a way of speaking about a particular group or corporation. Now, I haven't done a charisma route on this game. I've only ever done, I think it's Rigger. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if there's an eight sided dice nearby. If there is. Number one, so let's go with corporate. I've got one comma left. So we will need to go to quickness. Body is um, is your health. Quickness is your ranged combat. Should I run Hong Kong as the third one? I can't remember which order it's in. I think this one is the first one. Really bad. 18 USA. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, I've got one point available here, so I'm going to go with ranged because I'm going to need something aside from my magic to continue. There we go. Confirm. Yeah, if only you could see my shelves and my Steam library. There was a lot of games. <laughs> okay, so. I believe no matter what you build, you're always going to get an etiquette. You're always going to get something. Uh, so I'm going to select academics. Actually, now two shadow runners. That seems fitting. Many runners use street name, handle, or working names like Half Jack or Lady Z. Either stick by the given name or adopt a nickname. Please choose a name for your character. 
Anyone wants to donate a name for this character? <laughs> yeah, I like your thinking, sir. Anyone got a name that they want to suggest or to uh, bring to the stream? Bumblebee. <laughs> Lady Nightbot. <laughs> gonna wait a little bit just to see if anyone else wants to um, put a name down gonna give you guys another minute just in case anyone wants to donate another name or the first one going to be any other names all right so we've got bumblebee in lady night point i've got a six-sided die if it's evens it's bumblebee it is a five and it looks like we're choosing lady Nightbot for our character thank you very much Cantor, for the name oops wrong one didn't want to open that one Lady Night Bot. Confirm. Down and out, your apartment. Three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a Shadow Runner's dream pad, but right now it's about all you have. Runner in the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you'll your Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slager Fixer hasn't called, the money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free, free to starve in the cracks of society run by megacorps. You just want your new year. Something needs to change. And soon. Your apartment. 20.54. It's 3am and you've got nowhere to go but down. Alright, let's have a look around. Is this right click? No, left click. Okay, so I can still use WASD to move around. There's a kitchen. Here's your laundry over here. That looks to be the bathroom. That's a sturdy toilet. Uh, let's see. Let's look on the table. Your notebook, calendar, contacts, that sort of thing. View your list of contacts. The list is sad, dried up. Carter Dextroit, fixer. No response to messages. Dowd, runner, dead. Filton Nash, fixer, missing since Feb. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, unknown, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Halfjack, dealer, retired or dead. The list goes on, all are either Dead ends or just plain dead. View your personal calendar. It's empty. Nothing to do. Put down your notebook. Your objective. Answer your vid phone. Uh, we can answer that one in a sec. What's here? A slip of paper with your bank balance. Enough to cover you through the end of the week. What's on here? Your computer, state of the art 2050, broken since 2051. 
But the lights are still on it, so I suppose that gives you some sort of light. Sam watts. The screen leaps to life, making a squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam watts. Hey, buddy. I hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again, or worse. I shouldn't have given you my com code, gonk, your zones. Where have you been, Sam? I've heard... I haven't heard from you in months. Shouldn't have given you my com code, gonk. Another giggle. I don't bother with the side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Someone finally gecked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character, like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business. Like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are... me. Hey, you remember that Renraku run when things went hell and we lost Dold? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? For those of you that don't know, Renraku is one of the major corporations. In this game, the place is more governed by giant mega corporations as opposed to actual government. Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> yes you are, Cantor. Yes you are. Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Sa on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. Sogma. Sogma is an urban shaman who provide her worth during the run against Fuji last fall. She's the quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out here in the open here, Lady Nightbot. Hmm, ready to bolt. I'll fix that owes us for the run. And for Dode, we wait. Late for another appointment, Sogma. Yeah, let's go with ready to bolt. Neg, not yet. Let's give the fixer another five minutes. Are they questioning later? <laughs> I think they are, Cantor. New Larry. You've been running with New Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dode almost as well as you did. Dode never saw... <coughs> sorry. Dode. Never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this... Dragon City, Lady Nightbot. It's wet and it's rain feels like acid and I want to get out of here. Shut your screaming mouth about the rain. We lost a man tonight. We wait for the money. I get it now. Take a pill and relax. Let's go with this one. Sure, Lady Nightbot. Sure, whatever you say. I forgot what voice I gave this guy. I don't know, lady. I'm gonna sound the bloody same. Ah, yeah, rude. I don't know, like I don't know, lady Nightbot. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far. 
but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fix was late. Smell funny to you. The bastards had a show. We need the money. What do you think we should do? Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Got the drag, Sam. We both know why Dode went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smi smiles a toothy smile. I've been here waiting. Wow, I keep changing the the uh, the voices for these guys. Sorry, I will get better at it at some point. I've been waiting for this all night. Your Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead. Bill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. Own up, Sam. If you screwed up, admit it. You've been drinking, Sam. That's true, Sam. Did you miss a beat back there? Well, the top one seems to be going well so far. Don't fret about the boys. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Sam Watts. I'd admit if I if there was something to admit, I was on point. Knew Larry was supposed to cover Dode. Something dawns on him. He leans in to New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were all set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Ranrigu? How come you didn't get that guy before he unloaded on Dold? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. You Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness, looking for someone and it's not a fixer. Okay. I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Did you keep us here long enough, Larry? Ends where I can see them, asshole. How much did they pay you to sell us out? Well, like Antoine said, hands where I can see them, asshole. He stops and smiles slowly, appears on his face. Sorry. He stops and a smile slowly appears on his face. What, you gonna take my gun away, Lady Nightbot? You... You know I don't need one. We've got incoming! You Larry relaxes and throws you a drag eating grin. Look. <clears throat> Looks like my Renriku friends are finally here. They're gonna take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. Mm. We should choose our friends more carefully, Lady Nightbot. That guy was never my friend. Mine either. I think I'll shoot him. Ah. Oh, now into combat. Oh, that was cheap. You are now in turn-based combat e combat mode. Each character on your team has an action pool. Spend these actions on movement, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Additional tutorial information is available for reference guide, which you can access in the upper right corner of your PDA menu. Um, we're not going to need help with this, but let's do it anyway. Oh, going to go through that. Down and out. I've already read that. Excellent. Right. Now, do I have anything? No. This pistol and a bat. What do I have here? L Elemental Fetish. Summons a 
force one air elemental that fetish is consumed when used. I can see this being a joke throughout this entire playthrough of this game. <laughs> well, what spells do I have? Increase the target's movement by one for three rounds. It's not going to matter at this point. But we can always give him a Wampa. Go here. Well, fumble. You got some air. <laughs> oh, I've got a water one now. Move him over there so they've got someone else to shoot at. And let's go smack him. Let's move the map around. Is there anything else coming that I should know about? Nope. Sweet. So in this game, above my cursor, that one represents how many action points. So if I go here, it's two and the map expands. Attacking is only one. you have. Damn it, it's two points to use a grenade. Forgot <sighs> about this part. Oh well. Let's go with the pistol. Well, I forgot how bad my pistol skills was. Okay, so when you summon an elemental or a creature, there's um, you can give them more action points. Cre uh, creatures like these will have more things that they can do as opposed to your regular characters. However, a lot of spirits have a good um, uh, a set chance that they'll go out of, out of control, and you can lose control and they'll become an enemy. And this time it was successful. So if I go here for two, what's this do? That's not showing me anything. That's all right. Uh, Great, another mage. Ah, crap, I've just lost control of it. And yes, you do actually need to uh, reload in this game. Which I thought was a nice touch. Uh, she's still got a pistol, she's still got plenty of ammo. I'm not going to hit that. Out of line of sight. I think I might just have you do slow. Yeah, 
How do you miss? She's not moving anywhere. Let's get some cover. There we go. And yes, I had to stop myself because I was about to make a joke with that cantor. <laughs> Sam Goma lowers her guns. Eyes, oh, Sam. Are you okay, Sam? Sam's breath is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. Part of life, Sam. You knew that. You did good. You don't look so good, Sam. It's part of life, Sam. You knew that. You were born for this gig, Lady Nightbot. Not me. Not so much. I think I'm gonna hang it up. Find a nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? Think I'll meet a better class of people to hang out with? Me? I do this. It's the only life I know. I'll find a safe house out of town. Lay low, Renriku has a long memory. Yes, they certainly do. I do too. Don't forget, my friends. You stare at Sam's face on your comlink. Shake off the memory. Focus. I had you back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is on the top of that list. Maybe it's the only name on that list. So I set up a dead man's switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new unit insurance policy. Payable when you find who creased me. Alive with a conviction or in a body bag with justification. Either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mangret and Mc McCain when the job is done. They'll know what to do. He turns to his left. Chat. The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Perswant? Hmm. Perswant to Mr. Watts wishes Rogers. Mangred and McCain has installed security dedicated phone lines so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We, we will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on the secured landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. What if he actually died of natural causes? Well, we're about to see if he did. Sam strains up. Talks seriously. First time. Look, Lady Nightbot, I've led a drag life and I probably left a drag corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I suck the air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I'd say I've traded a drinking buddy for a paycheck. I'd say my schedule's pretty clear right now. 100,000 million buys a lot of drinks. Well, I'd say I've traded a drinking buddy for a paycheck. I like the first one. 
Hope you just said yes. Objective, get a job, any job. I've got a locator chip slot in my head these days. If, when my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on the slab. Guess I'm heading back to Seattle. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. Well, Seattle can't be any worse than it is. Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. So I think what I'll do is I'll do this first little bit here for the time being, and then I might uh, finish off with a bit more just chatting. Because I think there's still one or two things I wanted to say, but I got sidetracked like I usually do. The smell of death and decomposition washes over you, only slightly masked by the minty, fake fresh of industrial grade antiseptic. Hovering over recently departed is a small dwarf whistling a tune. His broad grin says, I love my job. A little more than you'd wanted or expected from someone with a chop shop trade. As you approach, he looks up with a lopsided grin. There's something kindly in his eyes. Thought it might just be a stray reflection of chrome and surgical tools. Ooh, minty. Well, I wouldn't exactly want to go into a place of death. Just smelling of death. At least cover it with something. <clears throat> Sorry. Didn't expect any visitors at this hour. And some asshole at corporate took my receptionist. What can I do for you, ma'am? Are you the coroner? I'm John Dresden, the organ grinder's branch manager here. So yeah, that makes me this franchise's area coroner too. Coroner too. And you are? Lady Nightbot, I'm here about Sam Watts. Lady Nightbot, I represent a man named Sam Watts, and I'm here to look into his murder. No one you've heard of, now tell me about the Sam Watts. Well, not exactly about to piss off the guy that's got surgical equipment. So let's leave the bottom one out. Lady Nightbot, I'm here about... Uh, that one sounds a bit more courteous. His grin fades. And what makes you think I know anything about that? Sam had a locator chip embedded in his skull. I followed it here. I see. Well, you, you're right there. He is. Not too many people know about the murder yet, though. The press hasn't caught wind of it yet. What with it being all the way out here in the barrens. So, who told you he was dead? Sam did. When his heart stopped, 100,000 million was wired to a secure account in my name. I find the killer, I get paid. Sam's digital ghost, his heart stopped. I got sent a recorded message asking me to bring his killer to justice. Guess he had a hunch. The dwarf raises his eyebrows, a smile wiping the suspicion off his face. A dead man's switch, eh? Fascinating. I was working on him earlier. He's over there. He's my second Emerald City Ripper victim. The third was downtown. Ripper, huh? I guess the classics don't get, never go out of style. Sounds grisly. Emerald City Ripper. He sighs. Not my title. That's what the Seattle press insisted on calling the killer. All I know is that the original Jack, Hal Ripper, knows how to handle a scalpel. But this one's even more twisted. He or she always removes an internal organ from the victim. What prize did he did the Ripper take from Sam? Delicious. Trophy hunter. What is it? Hand? Watt's lever was cleanly cut out. 
How about the, uh, the other unlikely contestant? The first victim's heart was missing, and the third had a spleen removed. Dresden, get out of here. <laughs> I think I just gave, gave the constable a, a bogan accent. <sighs> Sam's body is half covered in a sterile surgical sheet. His face an ashen white. For the first time without a smirk on it. Below the chest there's a small pencil thin incision covered in dry blood. Beyond that the corpse is immaculate. It would seem that the killer knew exactly what he wanted from him and took it. Next to Sam are several plastic envelopes containing the evidence found on his body. You can examine evidence through the bag without spoiling it. Look at the business card. Moving things around, you can make out that it's a card from a place called the Seamstress's Union. There is something handwritten on the back, but the blood has made it illegible. Look at the cred stick. It's a standard cheap, unsecured cred stick. No way of knowing what's on it without slotting it in. Let's take the cred stick. You'll slot the cred stick into your PDA. 300 million is added to your account. There's a probability of broken since I've... <laughs> yeah, there is. Look at the purple shirt. It's Sam's shirt. Several of the buttons are missing and blood has thoroughly soaked it. The bag sloshes a bit in your hands. Look at the handwritten note. You can only see part of the note, given the torn off bits of blood stains. Sam. I feel terrible what we are, are, we have been long to say I'm sort, see you there, love Jessica. Anything else? Nope. What's in here? Ah, uh, basic med kit, excellent. McCluskey. Towering over a diminutive coroner is a homicidal detective right out of central casting. If you ignore the task, pointy ears, and the end of old brown, you can smell his cheap aftershave of a mile away. So this is the new Ripper Vic Watts. Nah, name's familiar. Didn't his mother kill himself a while back? The coroner frowned. So you insisted at this time? He chortles. Come on, she's offering herself. I had it on the very good authority. Now let's go, Dresden. Give me something to work with here. The Ripper causes my ticket to the lieutenant's badge. I've already posted everything I know. The killer stuns the target with a combination of drugs and magic, then removes a single internal organ while they're still alive. The perpetrator is mostly like right-handed with a slim hand that knows its way around a scalpel has a decent understanding of human and metahuman anatomy too so I'm looking for a whacked out surgeon not necessarily I don't know any surgeon who still uses scalpels anymore these days it's all done with computer controlled lasers it could be anyone from a military field surgeon to an antique medicine artic Officiano. Officiano, though. You're no damn help, dwarf. The Lone Star detective finally notices you. He notices his superhuman powers of observation. Who the hell are you? I'm nobody and didn't hear nothing. I'm new in town. You, the welcoming committee. Uh, your business, lumpy. Are you the detective on the case? I was hired by Samos to assist in finding his killer. Well, I've got a strength test here, and I haven't done this one, so let's have a look at it. His face contorts with a hideous smile. You're a funny troll. Maybe we'll find another time to do a little dance later. You and me. I don't... I, did he just proposition me? <laughs> oh, well. He looks back at the door. Dresden, get me more. I'm putting someone in a cell or a 
box this week and claiming my promotion. Dresden looks amused. Did you always make friends that easily? I'm great at dinner parties too. Hey, don't you do friends? Well, he didn't really seem like my type. He cocks his head to one side. Be straight with me. You're really gonna work for the dead man? Sam was there when I needed him. I'm going to return the favor. A job's a job. And this one pays better than most. I'm going to bring a killer to justice. At least street justice. Fascinating again. Detective McClain. McCluskey isn't interested in anything but Detective McCluskey. He convicted his own mother if it meant another 10 million a week in his paycheck. Plus, he's on he's on the take. Dresden pauses, considering. You have honor, after a fashion. I try to honor the dead in my work, so we have that in common. What can I do to help you? Well, let's start from the top and work our way upon it. On the take, who's paying the hold his leash? I don't know, but someone with some major pull has been looking out for Mikulski's career and wallet. What was McCluskey said about Sam's mother? The official report is that he committed suicide about a year ago. Official in that sentence? My name is on the report, but my actual findings left some doubts. I can't say that, I, that it wasn't suicide, but there was unusual bruising on her upper arms, and she didn't use her dominant hands to pull the trigger. I was told to drop it, so I dropped it. What are the organs worth these days? A whole healthy body can be worth more. Can be worth a bunch of million. But individual organs? Not worth as much anymore. What with all the synth and service stuff on the market these days? Organ grinders only deal with the recently deceased. There's plenty of other chop shops that aren't as picky though. And they don't care where the bodies come from either. Who still uses scalpels? Doctors still learn how to use them in the first years of medical school, as do coroners, but neither profession uses them as much anymore. It's possible some of the slimier chop shops still use scalpels, I suppose, but I wouldn't know where to look. Have you heard of the Seamstresses Union? It's a nearby club in the barrens that attracts low lives. You'll probably like it. Me, I'm not the going out type. I always too much to be done around here, plus the dead are just easier to get along with. I just need to know one more thing. Where was Sam killed? Dresden looks up at you intently for a moment before speaking. You know, I might be able to do you one better. Why don't you poke around in those body lockers in the back and see if you can't find anything useful. Um, okay, then I'll go do that. So we know that our pal Sam has been killed and his liver has been surgically removed. Item picked up. Items added. Doc waiting. Doc wagon basic trauma kit. That's a good thing. Yeah. Basic med kit. The cold storage drawer is labelled John Doe, but the internal thermostat is set to 21 degrees Celsius. Open the drawer. The cold storage drawer opens to reveal the fully clothed body of a man, arms folded across his chest, in addition to sporting some of the brightest orange hair you've ever seen. The body seems to be in very good condition. Whoa, easy there! In one quick move, he jumps down from the drawer and stands before you. 
For someone who just woke up in a morgue locker, he seems unfazed and is pretty well put together. He spotted Data Jack drilled into his temple and some shamanistic tattoos peak above his collar. An interesting combination. Time to wake me up in six in the morning. Is it six in a is it six yet? It doesn't feel like six yet. Sorry, I didn't expect you to be so alive. Yeah, Dresden thinks he's pretty funny. You're not the first person he's pulled this one on. He chuckles. Well, so much for a good night's sleep. On the plus side, I noticed you haven't killed me yet, so that's good. If you aren't after me, then what's your story? The latest Ripper victim, did you know him? I'll ask the questions. What the hell are you doing in the mall drawer? I'm looking into the death of Sam Watts. The coroner seems to be... The coroner seems to think you can help me out. The latest Ripper victim, did you know him? Sam, eh? Glad somebody cares. We used to drink together every now and then over at the Union. Decent enough guy. Always in trouble over something or another though. Jake yells towards the other side of the room. John! Is this lady cool? Yeah, she's on the level. Working for Sam. Believe it or not, it's some sort of dead man switch. I thought you could help her out. Maybe. Even stop moping around in the shop all day. Thank you for volunteering me. He pauses. Might be sizing you up, but it's hard to tell behind those shades. Alright then. The name's Jake, and you are? Call me Lady Nightbot. Nice to meet you. Well, it sounds like you're taking a dive into the deep end here. John's alright. You might be able to help you out. I was with Sam the other night, the night of the murder. Poor guy. He was hanging at the seamstress's union that night, tripped out and rowdy. I've been laying low there for a few days after a bad run. Miss Kabota asked me to throw Sam out. Oh, I did. But out of the alley, some gangers got the drum jump on me. He winces. Damn. Maybe I need some soy cap after all. John, could you grab me a cup? Get your own damn cup. My hands are dirty anyway. Now what's wrong with this intestine? You hear loud squelching sounds as Dresden continues his work. Thanks, John. You're a real pal. Anyway, it's a big fat court bounty on my head, like I said. My last job didn't exactly go according to plan. Out in the alley. A few Halloweeners. Oh, wow. All right. All right. A few Halloweeners got to jump on me. Damn gangers. Thought they could turn a quick profit off my head. Jake smiles. And you get the impression that it didn't work out so well for the gangers. Come on. Am I still live? Yeah, I'm still live. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh well. Sam stumbled off during the fight though, and that's the last I saw of him, until he turned up here. Dead on arrival. Reminds me of my last stay in this place. You've done this before. It's a long story, I ended up in the morgue more often than the average guy. Yeah, Jake Reg Jake here's a regular. Should have started a rewards card. Jake, a few more visits you get a free night stay. Jake laughs. I'll hold you to that, John. Anyway. They found Sam's body less than a block away from the Union. Missing liver and all. Tell you what. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. I could use some backup to settle the score with those Halloweeners out there. The leader's got a whole gang searching the barons for me. I need to get rid of that asshole. In return, I'll take you to the place Sam was murdered. It's not safe to hit the streets alone at night. Trust me. Jake eyes you up and down. And maybe I'll throw in some decent supplies while we're at it. What do you say? It's nice to have someone watching your back out there, assuming you can trust them. 
I don't work for free. I fight, I get paid in New Year, not tours. I do like a bit of street justice every now and then. All right, Jake, count me in. Great, I've been holding out here ever since that run-in with those Halloweeners. Whiny bunch of gangers. But this stretch of the Barrens is their turf. Hell, I'm surprised you even made it to the Morgan One pace without packing some heat. You have to over shoulder. Very funny, Jake. You can sleep in the dumpster tomorrow. So, you need a weapon. Almost no distance. Got a rifle. No guns for me. Melee's my game. Ooh, shotgun. Give me a shotty. Like the subtle touch, eh? Alright, try this cannon out. So, you ready for an evening out on the town? Just a minute, tell me more about these gangers first. I'm ready. Just watch my back, don't make me regret this. If you're buying, just a minute, tell me more about these gangers first. Well, they're one of the nastier gangers in town. Their symbol is a flaming jack o' lantern. But you wouldn't like their version of trick or treat very much. Around here, they're led by a troll named John Paul. He's got all the Halloweeners and the Barons looking for me. If we take him out, maybe I can breathe a little easier. Uh, I'm ready. I'll follow your lead. The Halloweeners aren't looking for you yet. I do hope everyone here is enjoying your time. I do apologise if it's uh, not uh, flamboyant. Is, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah. But I do hope you're enjoying your time. Head out to the Barrens. Confirm. Continue. Ah, crud, I should have read that part. Hold on, I can read it here. The Redmond Barrens. Run in the Seattle sprawl, and sooner or later you'll find yourself in Redmond Barrens. It doesn't matter your business, the Barrens don't like you. Take one part radioactive wasteland, three parts doggy done, dog slum, add a dash of tourist traps, and you've got yourself a recipe for mean as hell. You leave to sanitize death and former, former late, what is that word? Form aldehyde. Oh, formaldehyde of organ grinders behind, entering the anarchy and desperation of the streets. Jake stops a moment to breathe deeply, filling his lungs with motorcycle exhaust, radioactive dust, cordite, and who knows what else. He exhales in an expression of weary or wry content. The stench and grim tell him he's hot. Your objective, find Jake's stash. Mission item added, find his stash. Looking for a date, trolls are my favourite. Yeah. 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 Damn it. You missed out on a perfect opportunity, game. You missed out on a very good opportunity. Hidden in the garbage drawn alley is a high-tech safe with a ma mag card reader on the front. Open the safe with Jake's mag card. With a smooth hiss, the safe opens to reveal a collection of gear that, that is perfect match for your skills. You take the gear. Added one air elemental. Oh no! I can see where this is going. Not nice. Just light someone on fire.
So, welcome to the Barons. Guess I'll need to find a new spot to hide my gear. Good dead drops are so hard to keep. Same drag in every city these days. So I shouldn't have invested in real estate around here. Only by the hour. Here you may... You, you've seen where I stay at night. Now that you've got some gear, let's go deal with those Halloweeners. Um, do I have any... Oh yeah, I do too. Let's spend some karma. Quickness, range, pistol, SMG, shotgun. One, kneecap. One AP damage, negative six HP. Damage, can hit multiple targets. And I've only got one. Dodge helps reduce the chance of being hit by physical attacks. Please. Confirm. Uh, worried man. Worried man. The man before you appears well mannered, but nervous. Yeah, excuse me, ma'am. You don't know you, but you look like you can handle yourself in a fight. We need some help. What is your problem? Some of the thugs are shaking down the market we've set up here. It's been getting worse lately. I don't think I can afford to pay them anymore. But no one will stand up to them. And Lone Star isn't about to get involved. Where's this market of yours? Just down the street, ma'am. Please, our livelihood depends on the market. How do we know their names, even before we get to them? That's the one thing I never got. Her clothes may be dirty, but this woman is far from downtrodden. Hey, it's not of my business, but I wouldn't go that way. What's going on? Just some Halloween is staring up travel again. She points to the south. They rode in this morning on those fancy bikes. Set camp in old street markets. They've been marching up and down the streets all day. Shaking down anyone that wanders past. Typical. Well, odds are those other guys were after. Anything else I should know about the gangers? Hmm. Well, their leader is a big old troll named John Paul. Real piece of work. Even for a wiener. Jake Amaridge. Yep. That's him. Jake checks his pistol. Sounds like a friendly bunch. Are you going to be safe out here? She laughs. You think I'm dumb enough to get caught out in the open by one of those assholes? Nah, I know these trees like the back of my hand. Worry about your own skin. They're going to be in for a rude surprise. You might want to start going out of here before the shooting starts. She looks over here and nods. Don't you worry about me. I know how to lay low. They're a tough bunch though. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Anything down here? Can I go to the marketplace? Lad. As you approach the man sizes you up. You can see the age old fight or flight e e e uh, e equation running behind his drug clouded eyes. Beneath the track marks his own arms. You spot his set of tattoos and indicate that he is, or at least once, a shaman. What's your story? Nothing. No story, nothing. Just leave me alone. I didn't see anything, I swear. Calm down, I'm Lady Nightbot. What's your name? My name is... My name is Vlad. Vlad, those are some nice tattoos. Are you a shaman? The red shaman strikes a chord. He seems to shake off some of the mental cobwebs. Yes, I am a shaman. I thought so. Vlad, what did you see? See? Yes. I saw something. The other night I saw a spirit so dark, so alien, that... Vlad trails off and shudders. Where did you see the spirit? Just across the street from the seamstress's unit. It's gone now, Vlad. It's not going to kill you. I'll say. Thank you. I think you're right. I feel better now. More whole. 
Now I think I need to get some sleep. Oh joy, there they are. Well, that's where their camp is. Does this guy have anything to say? Don't hurt me. What does this guy have to say? Watch out for the gangers. Commercialists like weed taking root in the cracks of the crevices of the world whenever it can. A smell of street market has flourished here amidst the crumbling building of the Redmond Barons. Oh, we barely have anything. Not by problem. Pay up by morning or else. The thug attempts to use his bulk and hideous breath to intimidate the shopkeeper. The old woman is holding firm, but you can see the thug's patience fading fast, and he looks like he's about to start breaking things. Hey, who are you? For. Hey punk, I've got a better idea. Hand over today's take and I'll let you live. Uh, hey now, let's not get all nuclear here, drummer. I'm sure we can work something out. He slowly reaches into his pocket and holds out a bundle of new years, his hand visibly trembling. I can need scratch. Like I need your scratch. Give it to the woman. He looks at the woman, then back at you again, tossing the new year to the ground and sheepish sheepishly turns to leave the scene. Huh. Okay. Miss James. Well, damn. I wish there were more people like you around here. I've I've never seen someone stand up to those thugs without getting beaten bloody. Nobody gets in my way. We still need to deal with those Halloweeners. Uh, I think I want to go down here. What the hell happened here? Why is it still in the middle of the street? Why am I questioning that? It's the Barons. Halloween century. Hey ass wife, take another step forward and we're going to plant your idea. This is Halloween property now. This one of those two that got away. If I had missed if I hadn't have missed my shot, these idiots would have given up and moved on by now. Wait a minute. You're rolling with Jake? Bad idea, Jama. The Halloweeners are collecting that bounty and killing you. Now oh, that'd be a nice bonus. At least it's nice that they missed. <laughs> Shotgun go boom. Uh, 
heal and hope for the best. Ow. Please stop. just playing with you. I'll call off the rest of the Halloweeners, Jake. Call it even, yeah? What do you think, Jake? He smacks. Hey, I'm already a shoot on sight status with these guys. Hey, I'm already on a shoot to sight status with these guys. Killing John Paul means one less wiener to shoot me in the back while I'm buying smokes. He'll... Hell, they'll be doing the same to you soon if there's much profit in it. You're right. Let's finish this. Oh, Drake. As you approach the scene of Sam's murder, Jake spies the flashing red and blue lights up ahead. Whoa, hold up a minute. Lone Star isn't above collecting on a corp issued bounty. And the one in my head isn't going away anytime soon. He sighs. Sorry friend, I think this is all. This is where our path diverges. Thanks again for your help with those Halloweeners. Here's your payment. They don't take New Year where I'm going. And you look like you can use the funds. Good luck out there. Yeah, you too. He starts to leave, then tilts his head back. Hey, one more thing. When you're done checking out your pal's crime scene, pop into the seamstress's union just down the street. You need gear, information, or just... Or just a damn stiff drink? There's a place to be. Best dive this side of the Chicago. I used that place as a base of operations for many years back in the day. Make the right friends and I'm sure you'll be at the bottom of the ripper business. And I'm sure you'll... Yep, okay. Just had to double check that. Well, nice knowing ya. Jake turns and disappears into shadowy depths of the Redmond Barrens. Not my problem anymore. William. The bright yellow police tape cuts through the darkness, directing your eyes to the white chalk outline and red and dark red stain marking the slab pavement where Sam Watts died. Standing at the entrance of the alley is a Lone Star officer. A cop looks cold, hungry and irritated at the homeless man who's currently pro protesting him. I keep telling you, I need to get my staff on the alley. I'm gonna die of the cold tonight. The officer. And I've been trying to explain to you that this is official Lone Star investigation. And I can't let anyone in here. Hey, I got right. Look, you sinless garbage. I've got a job to do. Find a new blanket or, f or I'll find a reason to use my stun pattern. Typical. I hate all you pigs. He looks in your direction. Now what? Right. Meet my friend, Mr. Credstick. We just need a few minutes to look around. Got it, Chief. Well, a hundred bucks just to look around the crime scene? What the hell are these guys being paid? It must be absolutely nothing. I missed the shots of something that I've missed. There's two distinct sets of footprints, a human's ending at the chalk line outer and a larger set, possibly all control, and I can't read the rest. 
The work light is new. You can see that all the alley's normal lights have been ruined. Upon closer inspection, it seems that they've all imploded as if some force something. This looks like the coat and blanket of the old man. Examine the area for evidence. As you shuffle through the bundle of cloth to the side, a printed recipe falls from beneath the folded blanket. It's a bar tab receipt from the seamstress's unit. Dated two days ago at 3.02 a.m. Right around the corner's report time of death. The customer, Sam Watts. The server's name is listed as Coyote. Pick up the coat and blanket. Can I? No. Damn it. The streets have not been kind to this man, but they've also hardened him. This man is clearly a survivor, though one rest wrestling with the onset of age and arthritis. You, I saw you with the other rat bastard top. What do you want? I think the, I think this coat and blanket belongs to you. My stuff, mighty decent of you. Don't see that kind of thing too often out here. Know anything about the murder that took place here? He squints at you suspiciously. You're a copper, or working for some corps. Just a freelancer, I want to ask you some questions. Good. Now we tell those cop cops that sell me nothing. What do you want to know? Did you see the murder? Nope. And I can't say I'm sorry I missed it. I was hauling crates for Miss James up in the market. Can't carry as many as I used to, so it took a while. Got back here in time to see a couple of tourists puking all over my home turf. By then, the jerk face in the uniform had already set up shop in my alley. So, it sounds like you live in this alley. Sure. For the last couple of months, I've been sleeping there. But I spend my days out doing odd jobs for the street merchants or panhandling tourists over near the seamstress's unit. What else did you see on that night? Hmm. Well, you know, the earlier in the night, I saw a big and ugly troll in green hospital scrubs snooping around the block. He brought some donuts and two cups of soy cap off, off a Dan over there. Seemed nervous, and he did everything with his left hand because his right was all screwed up with some cyberware. Can you tell me more about these troll cyberware? Well, it was big. And I think it must have had some hospital attachment because I saw some needles. It was a lot like a one I saw back in 44. When I got captured by elves, they did all sorts of experiments on me. Let me tell you, never trust one of the cyber people. That's all I needed to know. See you around. Anything else? Hang in there, youngin. What have you got? Dan the Donut Man. The smell of fried food, powdered sugar, and slightly burnt soy cap is almost enough to overpower the dusty sewage stand of Redmond Street. The troll working the stand is covered in food stains older than he is. What can I help you, chummer? Did you see the murder in the alleyway across the way? Nope. I was closed when that happened, but hey, it's the Barons. A back alley killing's nothing new around here. The only reason the cops are making a big deal about this ripper business is that there's some sort of victims of real people, you know? Folks with sins. What can you tell me about the barons? The barons? Hell, if you have to ask, you probably should have, you shouldn't have been out here. This stretch we're on is called Touristville, though. And I suppose it's the closest thing around here to respect respectable few muggings fewer muggings and you might even survive drinking the water if you're lucky wouldn't recommend it though he scratches his armpit now behind me that's the seamstress's union you want drinks drugs favors or information around here the union's your spot hell that place is the reason i'm in business folks in this munchies folks get the munchies when they party Miss Caboto owns the joint. She's quality. Hard woman, but fair. I'll take a jelly donut and soy car. Down the donut. Enjoy. Wow. 
Bobby. Hey, Jammo, got some tasty morsels for you. Just whatever every well-dressed Shadowrunner should have in her back pocket. Let's see what you have. Uh, nothing. Strength to willpower plus two plus one. Plus no, I don't want to take it. Not now, anyway. This is it. The best place it. to party. The seamstresses union. Relatives to the rest of the Barons tourist bill is a neon clothed oasis. At its heart is the seamstresses union. House to an old broomstone building on the corner of Illegal and Opportunity. Bums huddle together, gangers strut the streets, and the occasional salary man comes slumming. The union building has been retrofilled the union building has been retrofitted, rebuilt, and restored many times, that it's like an aging starlet wearing too much makeup in an attempt to stay young. The wild ivory growing out of the goddess adds to the effect. As you enter, murmur of hushed conversations washed over you. The dive bar denizens raise their heads, take your measures, and then go back to their business. This is the kind of place where everyone knows your name, but keeps to themselves. Alright, I think I'm going to end it there for now. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very much for being with me on my official debut for tonight. I hope I was able to entertain you for a little bit. I do thank you very, very much for your time. Um, I hope I've been entertaining and I hope I can bring you onto this journey of Shadowrun with me along with other games. To reiterate what I was going on about earlier, about uh, the motivations and all that. That's actually kind of complicated. There is no one set certain reason. Motivation? Un uh, I don't have anything concrete. But I wouldn't mind trying to set myself up as someone that's friendly and that you can whoop, talk to. I'm welcome to talk about just about anything from time to time. But the one thing I do want to bring up, I should have brought this up in the beginning, but that's at least I'm addressing it now. I want to try and keep um, a lot of sensitive stuff off my streams. So things like politics, um, a lot of very touchy subjects I want to try and avoid. I don't want to bring them on my streams. So please try not to bring them on my streams unless I initiate them. And if I do initiate it, tell me to stop. Because I don't want anything to do with that. I want everyone to be here friendly. I want everyone to love being here. This is a lurk and sleep friendly stream. If you want to stay here. And just enjoy yourself and vibe. That's fine with me. So I suppose I better go look for someone that I want to raid. Mm. I'd like to again thank you very much for your time for joining me but that's okay we can always have a, another good time on another good stream thank you very much for joining me today and have a good one